Hey guys, Majeffrey's here, and welcome to episode 87 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Um, in the last episode, you remember we lost to West Ham, 2-1, uh, uh, not 2-1, sorry, 2-0, in the first round of the League Cup. Um, after that, uh, I'll show you one here, I had a away match against Gillingham, and I won 2-1, um, with goals from Adam Campbell and McConnor. Uh, McConnor's goal was a penalty, uh, Campbell's hit. Uh, goal, believe it or not, was a header. Despite the fact he's only about, I think he's five foot seven or something like that. He's he's not the tallest player in the world, that's for sure. Um, and today we have a nice little home match against Accrington Stanley. Um, I will save myself doing the uh, the accent and the impression and the uh, you know from the old famous advert. I'm not going to do it, so there's no point in asking me because I am not going to do it. Don't be sitting there waiting because I am not going to be doing it. I'm really not. So yeah, I don't know why you're sitting there waiting for me to do it because I'm just I'm just not going to do it. We're, however, going to go straight into here, and we're going to start looking at possible lineups because um, I have a new signing that I want to unveil, and hopefully he will also make his debut in this match. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to stick with the usual suspects of Quintarka in goal, Via at right back. Oh, actually no, we're not. Ah, that was the other thing I was going to do in this episode. I completely forgot. I was going to debut our new formation. There it is. It's a 4-4-2. Um, not two banks of four, though. As you can see, I've got the two wide men here. Uh, I've kept the midfield the same with the ball-winning midfielder. That's box-to-box. -box. That's not right. That should be ball-winning midfielder. That should be box-to-box. -box. There we go. Let's swap them two over. That's quite clever, that. Um, and then up here we've got a again these are the wrong way around target man and a complete forward so the target man supports the complete forward should attack there we go right so we've got a target man so all the balls should go up towards him and then he heads them on to the complete forward who should finish them that's the theory whether that works or not we'll find out um, but yeah we're going to have Quintarka in goal we're going to have Via. Where's Via gone? Is he hiding under there? Yes, he is hiding under there. Via at right back. Uh, Jones at left back. Jones has really impressed me so far this season. He's definitely... Um, I have my little doubts about him. Uh, particularly last season. A lot of injuries. Um, but he's definitely... He's, he's turned it around and he's proved that he's the right choice after all. Um, we're going to have Stevens alongside Cartwright in the middle. And then in the midfield. Now this is the tricky one. I think... We are going to have. Hmm. This is tricky. Forster Kask. Force. Yeah, Forster Kasky at right centre midfield, and let's keep McGregor at left centre midfield, and then on the left side of midfield, we're going to have Beckhold, who is finally back from injury. Um, I gave him an extra week off against West Ham. Half regret it, half don't, because he did well against uh, Gillingham. Um, on the right-hand side, I am going to have Drewson making his first appearance of the season. And then up front, I'm going to have... Um, let's try Francois. And I'm also going to have Steve Morrison. And he is our new signing. Fresh from Leeds, his contract expired in the summer. He's 31 years old now. Um... You guys might remember him playing for Norwich. Uh, he also helped Millwall get promoted from League One. I remember him as a Stevenage legend. Uh, basically, any Stevenage fans out there who are watching this series, first of all, hi guys. Uh, second of all, you will know what I'm talking about when I say that Steve Morrison will go down in Borough folklore as being one of the best goal scorers we've ever had. He scored, must have been at least 25 goals a season throughout his time with us. We signed him as a nobody from Bishop Stortford. Nobody had ever heard of him. Um, and by the time he left us for Millwall, he was the conference's top conference's... No, he was the top scorer in the conference. Um, if anyone knows George Boyd, who plays for Hull, he and Morrison formed a lethal partnership for the borough. Uh, he scored the winning goals for us at Wembley um, when we beat Kinnaminster 3-2. Uh, he also scored the first in a 2-0 win against York two years later. Um, he scored for us in the playoffs against Cambridge, which we nearly won. Um, and he, he was just a great player for us. But 
he was always going to end up leaving us to go to pastures new and higher um, and he left for Millwall and then when he signed for Norwich I was quite pleased with him actually he scored a lot of goals against uh, for Norwich apart from the the ones against Newcastle I'm not so happy with but can't change the past um, and then he ended up falling back into the uh, the championship which is a bit of a shame um, but he's with us now and hopefully his goal scoring from real life has carried over onto this game and he will help fire us to both promotion and the league title so yes he is our new number nine I suppose he'd be uh, even though he's not number nine because that's Tomlin's number but we'll find him a decent number that's for sure um, in the meantime I need to pick a bench don't I yes so let's have O'Brien um, Hutchinson yeah uh, we've lost Robertson now because I released him so I suppose we're gonna have to have Klopmas on the bench even though he's only got 81 percent fitness uh, Saville yeah why not um, Delamond, again, why not? Um, strikers, sub strikers. I'm gonna have Tomlin, and I'm gonna have to have Wilson because I think he's the only fit striker we've got. Yeah, he definitely is the only fit striker we've got. Okay, so that is our lineup. Um, hopefully this new formation works out for us. If not, we'll go just go back to the uh, the four two three one. But the only way to find out is to actually test it. So. Morrison wants to be number 20. I can't offer him number 20. However, I can offer him number 40. So he's going to have to wear that for the season, I'm afraid. Uh, unless we loan out Francois, in which case Morrison actually can't take his number now because I've already given him a number. Yeah, he, he's number 40. Uh, right, we're going to have a look at the Accrington team. They've got Otsemabor at right back. And that's about the only player I know. Uh, well, hang on, they've got Charlie. Is that Charlie Randall? Let's find out. Charlie Randall, Connor Randall. Okay, I don't know who he is. I know who Lee Naylor is, and I know who uh, Luke Joyce is, and Luke McCormick. Uh, Luke McCormick. Um, slightly controversial. I think he's the, the goalkeeper I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, I'm not too worried about about this team. Ryan Harley, I do know of him. Uh, I suppose as long as we keep Dudu quiet. We should be okay. Let's do hard tackling on him as well, even if we get someone sent off. Right. Let's get to it. Debuting the new formation. Let's see how it works. Of course, we're at our temporary home of Stamford Bridge. Still not happy about that one. Um, but what can you do? Just just hope that the, the our stadium is finished soon so we can move back in. Uh, and then we can really get the crowds going. So, I mean... You can see the Atkinson fans up in that top corner there. Like, sort of towards the top corner of the screen. Um, apart from that, you just can't see any fans. It's an empty stadium. And that can't be good for confidence, even if it is a huge Premier League ground. You see where they're all dotted around the middle of each stand. And it must be very difficult to get your voice to carry across to the players on the pitch. Um, so as soon as we get back into our stadium... I mean, first of all, I'll be interested to see what our stadium looks like now, because uh, every season it's looked different so far. Um, but also, it's just to get the fans back in and get the atmosphere going and the performances that come with it. Um, so at the moment, it's just a bit dead and a bit quiet. And I know we, we trounced Tramley in our first match, so it didn't really affect them there. But for me, I still I, I like the idea of playing at an actual home and not a temporary home. So the sooner we move back in, the better. Uh, that was Morrison with his first real chance for us, heading it just over the bar. Uh, not a bad effort, good build-up play. Uh, forced Kasky getting down that right-hand side to cover for Drusen, who'd come inside. Uh, Villa's corner to Stevens. Francois heads it back in, not once but twice. Cleared out again to McGregor. Uh, he's probably going to knock it down the wing. Yep, there he does, to Beckhold. Uh, good ball from Beckhold. Nope. Side netty bit disappointing that one you expect better especially from Beckhold I know he hasn't played yet this season but uh, he has just agreed a new contract with us he's turned professional he signed a deal to until 2018 I believe um, so he could celebrate it by putting in a decent shift for us out there today uh, Quintarka worrying me a little bit there the way he had to tip that one over because it looked like an easy catch uh, Morrison on the line there doing his defensive duty and that Chambers, I think it said, giving away a free kick. Um, so that's, that's it's a yeah, 
how would I put it? It's an average start, really. We've had two corners, they've had one, six free kicks to five. Uh, four fouls to five, so I guess... How does that work? How have we had eight free kicks, but only a combination of five fouls, including offside? That doesn't make sense. Now we've got nine free kicks with a combination of six fouls. That really doesn't make sense. How weird. Anyway, let's concentrate on the match. Let's not worry about little things like that. Alright, Beck hold on the ball. Deflects off the defender. Falls kindly for Jones. Into McGregor. Through for Beckhold. Good piece of skill from him. Great ball out wide to release Jones. He's going to whip in across. He does whip in across. Beckhold went for the header and got it all wrong. Credit to Beckhold. He is trying. You know, maybe he's trying to prove a point because he got left out of the last match when he might have felt he could have played. Um, I brought him on as a sub against Gillingham, I think. I can't remember if he actually... He might have started thinking about it. Um, he, he didn't have a great game there, so I think he's trying to pull the point. Is that Morrison on goal? Just right. Where was the finish? Indeed. Hopefully Morrison's not going to turn into a Barnard. Um, that would be a bit of a disaster. Because, I mean, Barnard had a good start for us. Uh, I was trying to give him as many chances as I could, but in the end I, just, I had to put my foot down and say, your performances aren't good enough. And he threw a bit of a hissy fit, so I had to let him go. Um, it was a sad ending to the story, really, because I wanted to, him to do well. Uh, and I wanted the team to do well with him in it. But I mean, He scored a few crucial goals for us, but he was always going in badly. So uh, I let him go. Replaced him, hopefully, with Morrison, who's going to do a better job. That was a foul from Veer. Just a free kick, that's a relief. Um, shot on target from Atkinson. First shot on target of the game in the 43rd minute. We've had four shots and not one of them has been on target. Beckhold must have had about three or four of them. I've no idea what Pintaka was doing there. Just dropped the ball and kicked it straight out of play. It says no nonsense from Quintaka as if he was being hunted down by six or seven of them. And he really wasn't. There was no one there. One Atkinson player on the edge of the box. Well, that's hardly going to put your goalkeeper under pressure, is it? Uh, good volley from Randall, but better block from from uh, Via. Well played by him. Uh, he's actually picked up a bit of a knock, so uh, we'll keep an eye on him just in case. Uh, might have to end up bringing Robinson, not Robinson, Hutchinson on. It's better from Pintar. We actually controlled that one and then kicked it up to Beckhold. It was a good ball to Beckhold, but I'm guessing the attack led to nothing since it cut off. Uh, I think we're going to go in at 0-0 at half-time, guys. It's a bit of a shame. We are going in 0-0 at half-time. Uh, right, let's, let's have a look at the team. Let's have a look at who's doing well and who's doing bad and see if we can fix this because uh, it's not been the best of halves. The first thing I've noticed is both Francois and Via are both in a bad shape. So we're going to bring Hutchinson on for Via and we're going to bring Wilson on for Francois and we're also going to swap Wilson and Morrison around. So Morrison's now the, the complete forward and Wilson's the target man. Um, and we'll give that a bash and see how it goes. Uh, hopefully we, we do better in this half now. Even if it's just getting the ball down a bit more and playing a bit more football. Uh, I'd like to see Beckhold and uh, Drusen doing a bit more down their lines. and Forced to Kasky. I mean, we saw him put that cross in early on, which led to Morrison's header. But since then, I don't think I've seen him touch the ball. Um, we're going to have to watch McGregor as well, because he's on a booking. Uh, for some reason, Cartwright's taken our corners there, and he nearly forced a goal. That's better. Drewson's taking this one. And he's kicked it straight out for a goal kick. That old nemesis returns, I see. It's been a while since they did that, actually. Um, we've had Villa take a few set pieces. You saw his set pieces in the first match of the season, how good they were. Um, McGregor, on the other side, has been doing just as good. Uh, so I don't know where that one's come from. That was Morrison with the touchdown. He got tackled just before he could do anything. Drewson's ball across. Off the crossbar. Wilson and Morrison both went after the same ball, which means it's fallen free. McGregor's chased it down. Um, and that's the end of that one. Cartwright taking corners again. Again, a bit of a strange one. Uh, Wilson with the shot, Drewson with the shot. And it's gone over the bar for a goal kick. Again, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting better, we're getting more into it. We've had five shots now, still none on target. They've had two in two. Um, so... 
Yeah, I mean, ideally, we, we want to be having more shots on target. Oh, we've had a shot on target now. We've had seven shots with one on target. So that is an improvement, admittedly. Uh, that's Quintaka saving that free kick. Um, I've just realised I might have to change my set piece settings again. Uh, I don't know whether they change or not with the tactics. Um, hopefully we can shape up and, and sort this out. Try, we need to get more shots on target. That's the key thing. Right, what's going on now? They're playing the ball down the line. We're trying to win it back. That's a good ball over the top. Flipped onto Bop. Bop. I mean, I don't want to be laughing at people's names, but that one you've really got to, got to ask yourself. Where did that name come from? Bop. <laughs> right, uh, they've had four shots, three on target. So I'm starting to get a little bit worried. That Morrison won that header. Wilson was running through. He's got brought down. Oh, Steve Elliott's been sent off. I don't think that was a red card. I really don't think that was a red card. I, th I think that the, the other centre-back was going to get across there and make the challenge. Um, but yeah, I, s I suppose that works in our favour. Hopefully. I mean, we've got two centre-forwards still, so... Um, I mean, they might have two centre-backs again, but one of them will be a weaker choice. So, exploit that weakness, I say. Uh, and a good way of doing that is to bring Tomlin on for Beckhold, who's taken a bit of a knock. Cause he's got 80, uh, 68 percent. Sorry. Um, so we'll bring Tomlin on. Scored a hat trick on his debut against Tranmere. Uh, let's see what he can do against that Uh Is that Veer? No, he went off half time. Hutchinson taking the throw. Works his way back to Stevens through from McGregor, who I was going to bring off because of the yellow card, but I'm going to have to leave him on there now and hope he doesn't get a second yellow. Um, I don't think he, he doesn't have a habit of doing that. I think Hogan is really the only player who picks up stupid booking and red cards. The rest of the team, they pretty much behave themselves, really. Um, this is nice build up play here. Forced to Kasky, knocking it down for Drewson, in for Wilson. Good effort, but the shot was blocked. Uh, Hutchinson's given it away and hasn't won it back, but the attack looks like it's broken down. We've got seven minutes to try and get something out of this game. Four minutes now to try and get something out of this game. Uh, we've increased our shots on target to three, so we've equaled Atkinson's. We've had four more shots in general than them. And this is going to be our last attack of the game, I reckon. Um, and, I mean, it's a disappointing result, really. You expect better. Why we're passing it backwards, I've no idea. Hutchinson here. Try and make something out of it. Crosses it in the box. Comes back out to him. Plays it low for Drusen. Back to Forster Kasky. Blocked. He lays it off to McGregor though, and that's full time. And, yeah, that's really disappointing. Morrison feels he could have contributed more. I think, yeah, I think he could have. Not the best of debuts for him. Not the best of performances for the team. Um, I think it's a little too early to be judging the 4-4-2. Uh, there's a few things I want to change on there still. Um, set pieces and, and, and things like that. Especially set piece tactics because now we've got two centre forwards. It'll be one attacks the near post, one attacks the far and things like that. Um, rather than just having the one striker who attacks the near post and nobody else at the far. Um, but yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of work to do guys. So uh, that'll be for the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Um, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I'll see you soon.